students, we're back with another video, and today our awesome instructor, Teresa, will go ahead and explain how to prepare and place DICAL and Cavit. Let's go ahead and jump right in. Our DICAL, which is, we have a base and a catalyst for our DICAL. And we have our Cavit. We have our beaver tail. We have our spatula and our DICAL applicator. It has a little tiny round knob on the bottom for the application of the DICAL, which I'll show you in a moment. So these materials are used for two different things. Two need to be mixed together to make the proper components to help the tooth heal from a deep cavity preparation. If the, the tooth is having symptoms of maybe a little bit of pain from a hot or cold, the doctor might place this in the, there underneath the composite to see if it helps the tooth heal a little bit. And the, uh, the cavit is used for the whole other procedure after a root canal. So let's try and go ahead and mix this one first, and then we'll do that one. So the DICAL, this is our catalyst. We only need a small amount. And we always make sure that when we are using these materials, that we keep them clean for proper storage. So you always wanna keep that clean. And your base. And you only need a little bit. I put them side by side without touching. I'm gonna wipe that one off too. These two, the catalyst and our base, which they both are calcium hydroxide, with our DICAL applicator, will be mixed. We're just going to mix them together. Just small little swirls into them so they both just incorporate with each other. These mixing together make the proper material to go inside the tooth. This does not get placed on the walls or the sides or anywhere in the tooth. It only gets placed on the floor of the tooth where the canals are, where the, the most vulnerable parts of the tooth are. So I'm gonna wipe off the first little bit and then I'm gonna just do this. Usually the, a lot of times the doctors will wanna place this. At this time we would pass to our doctor, but for this I'm going to show you. We're gonna go right in here, good fulcrum, just to the floor of the tooth. This looks a lot like the model. You might not be able to see well, but I'm gonna go straight down, just straight down, tapping it along the floor of the prep. I'll do it again. Always wipe off your instrument, clean. And again, I'm gonna go straight down on the floor of the prep. So that way when this filling is placed on top of here, the tooth can kind of try to heal itself. We'll give it a couple weeks, check on them, and see how the filling is going. That's your DICAL. Over here is our cavit. Cavit is a totally different material. If the patient has had a root canal or in the process of having the root canal, we would use cavit. It is a gray kind of a clay material and it is placed inside the tooth that we will place cotton and cavit. Always go inside to get out what you need. It is a material that's used to seal off the insides of the tooth during the, the temporary stages of the root canal. Go in and get out what you need and always seal the container back. <clears throat> then you can take this gets harder. What it is, it's a little firm right now, but that's okay. Then we're going to place it right on top of where we put the dike out. Usually they get a filling, but for purposes, we're gonna just do this. And then you would take your other end and compress it in, kind of condense, pack it in, right next to our IRM. See, our IRM is now getting hard too. So this is firming up, makes a hard filling in there for the patient. They have something to chew on, sort of. We tell them to be gentle, same with the, ca the cabinet. Okay. 
make everything nice so when they when they feel it or they bite on it they don't have any rough edges and there we go so now they have their irm on this molar and their cavet on this one so they can bite down and chew after the root canal and then when they go in to see their doctor for their crown they'll just remove this filling material that's what they were before and that's what they are now